Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I did this really cute press on set for my client. This press on set was inspired by the amazing Emily Maraki. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you exactly how I do my press ons from start to finish. So enjoy. So in this set, I'll be using Blue Sky Gel Polish Romantique. I'll be using CND Bohem, so Shellac Lux one, Wonder Bloom uh, 185. OPI Take Lay Away and Halo Nutmeg as well as Passer Nice Applies Gold Leaf Foil I'll be using a little dotting tool and my Young Nails Micro Detailer uh, some full cover tips um, a nail stand and a little kind of contraption that I made that I'll explain so I made this contraption literally just out of um, some bed slats and I put little balls on it and what I've done is I literally just have written down like right pinky, right ring, right middle, right index, right thumb um, and I do it on the same obviously for the left hand side and this is literally basically where I just place all of the nails in between the little slots and um, just so I know the right hand is this size, the, um, the left hand is this size and I normally use that if I don't want to use that um, nail stand so sometimes I do stick the press-ons on top of it that's why you see the blue tack on it but most of the time I just use it to just position out where I want the um, nails to go so yeah this is so quick and easy I literally made out some bedroom slats I just cut it in half got some little kind of bead balls of eBay and then just glued them onto it so what I do is I just place out the press-ons um, all in their specific section, so right pinky, left index, left middle, and it's really important that I do this because all of the finger sizes, one are different, but also on the same, on different hands, so right index isn't going to be the same as right pinky. Um, so then yeah, I'm just going to cut my press-ons, and um, so my client, I'm not going to lie, I kind of do this by eye, um, and my client wanted um, medium, so I kind of just... I don't know kind of go by what I think is medium and kind of what she's had before and she's been happy with so yeah I literally just cut that with some tip cutters um, and then what I'll do is for the other one is you'll see that it is um, if it's a, if their fingers are the same size on both hands so if both their thumbs are like a three then I will do this where I put them on top of um, I put one that I've cut on top of one that I haven't cut so I can just easily just cut that again however this only works really easily if both those fingers are the same size so obviously if like one thumb is a two one thumb is a three I try not to do it because I literally just get it confused obviously there'll be a little piece um, still left on but I just continue to then cut that off um, and then yeah what I'll do is I'll just literally line them both up on my hand just to make sure that they are the same size if not cut a bit more or just fine them so this next step is one of the most important steps especially if you're using gel polish I personally like to do all my press-ons in gel polish because I find that acrylic can make them a bit too stiff and it loses its flexibility so if you're doing this you want to make sure that you properly buff the nail otherwise that gel polish is going to peel straight off so yeah, I make sure I buff all the nails and then I'll file them the edges straight just in case I didn't cut them properly. away all the excess and clean the nails I like to go in with a base coat I base coat my press ones because I really want that gel to stick to the nails I'll then go in with two coats of whatever gel polish I'm using for this current set <laughs>
after creating laid out all my colors i then go in with my young love micro detailer brush and just do this kind of like swirly kind of line to kind of do that kind of um melting kind of animal print um and then i will go in with the actual gel polish brush and then paint the rest of it um sometimes i just like to just clean it up a little bit and kind of just make it a little bit longer or kind of have it like drip down a little bit just you know to add that effect um so yeah i kind of just did this at random um and then until i just kind of liked how it looked i just kind of went in with the detail again and kind of just back in with that gel brush <laughs> So once I've gone in and done my kind of squiggly French tip, I then go in with my dot and tool to create that cow print um, illusion. So I'll literally just do random blobs and dots kind of anywhere all around um, the French tip part. with how it looked or kind of what I've done so I kind of just went in and just added in kind of little tiny little dots and kind of just extended that kind of cow print spot beyond the French which is kind of how it was in the picture so yeah like don't be afraid to just go back in and just add a little bit extras and then now I see it really does give that cow print effect So once I've done all that and then I'm going to just break up my gold foil into really tiny pieces obviously it comes in kind of one long kind of thing so you want to break it up I'll then just get some top coat and just dash it in little random places on the nail kind of next to the animal um, the cow print blobs um, and then just literally just pat that down so it can sink into that top coat and put in the lamp to cure <laughs> to finish off you just want to add some top coat double top coat if necessary if that gold foil is feeling a bit rough <laughs> Hello, 